Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro that is also known as Vayu and Bhima. Now as promised in this short video, I'm going to quickly show you what files you need and what is the step-by-step -step process to install Corvus OS on your Poco X3 Pro. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so it's time to install Corvus OS on the Poco X3 Pro. Let's see what the developer has to say. Now, Corvus OS version 16.8 Avalon unofficial Android 11 released today, right? Now there is a very long uh, source change log over here. There you go. Lots of stuff here, lots of stuff. So ignore that. Uh, for the device, it is the initial release. It ships with the Shaldia kernel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Latest Proton Clang, SE Linux status is enforcing, so that's great. Safety net passes out of the box. Vanilla build, no gapps included, so you can use Nick gapps. All the files that are needed, I will link them in the description. Now, suggested firmware is 12.5.2.0 global or greater. And these are the credits. Seba Ubuntu for OSS trees. Null exception for his kernel. Seva 2K for his help. Blah, blah, sir. And... Uh, or for testing by only performance that is Mohit right so that's everything about this particular wrong now I am going to do yeah it's not wrong that's everything about this particular wrong so basically you need to make sure that you have more than 50% battery you need to make sure that you have backed up all the information on your phone's internal memory because the process that we are going to follow is going to wipe everything on your phone's internal storage if you have a sd card or a otg cable with a pen drive it would be great because i prefer to flash that way and you know if there is a problem with the internal storage which sometimes happens and for me it happens most of the times on the latest twrp that the internal storage is not detected on the pc you can go ahead and use that additional option so that is there. Now the files that you will need. You need to use the specific latest Nebrasi TWRP that is linked in the description. You need to have 12.5.2 firmware. You need to have Corvus unofficial ROM and you need Nix G apps basic which is working just fine for me. Now once you've taken care of all of these things, the most important and basic thing that you need is you need a poco x3 pro with an unlocked bootloader and a computer to flash twrp if you've still not flashed twrp now considering that you've taken care of all of these things and you're ready to flash follow the instructions from here on right so the first thing that we have to do is wait hold on i know everybody will tell me the first step is to go to twrp no a very important part over here, if you are on MIUI, if you are on any other custom ROM, if you are on any ROM for that matter, go ahead and remove all your lock screen security, like face unlock. So if you go to security, you go to pattern lock or whatever lock you have set there, set it to none. Remove all your Google accounts, remove all your MI account data and everything. Reboot your device once, you know, this takes care of a lot of issues that you might have after flashing. So it will avoid you having those issues and then boss you are ready to flash okay now once we get there you need to press and hold volume up and power to reach twrp considering you've already flashed it i am already on corvus so i'm going to use the advanced reboot menu to go to recovery now once you go to recovery in case you are super smart and you've decided not to remove your lock screen password, it will ask you to decrypt the device. Now to do that, you need to enter your lock screen password, pin, pattern, whatever it is. I've had people trying to use fingerprint unlock on TWRP as well. So not laughing at them, but you know, my videos are pretty self-explanatory. I mention everything step by step. So just follow and you would be just fine. Right now, once you reach TWRP, go to wipe, go to advanced wipe, select Delvic data cache. We are not wiping internal storage because in your case, the files, if you download them directly to the phone, they will be on your internal storage. Okay. Now, once you've wiped everything, the first thing that you will have to flash is the firmware. 
Now for me, the firmware is on the SD card. Okay, as you can see over here, firmware value 12.5.2. Select this, swipe to confirm flash. Now you can queue files together and you can go ahead and flash them, but I'm gonna show you them one by one so that for people who are new to the whole flashing game, it's easy. Now once the firmware is flashed, the next thing to flash is the ROM. For me, that is on the OTG pen drive. Okay, so this is the ROM, G drive bot Corvus. Okay, so flash this first. All right, now that the ROM has been flashed, we just need to go ahead and flash GApps. We're going to select Nick GApps basic, swipe to confirm flash. Now reboot system. Now we have installed the firmware, we have installed the ROM, we have installed the GApps. That means we will have Google Apps access including Play Store. Now as you can see over here, the Corvus OS boot logo is already there. All right, so as you can see, just like that, we have booted into Corvus OS. And if you go to about phone and you hit the Android version number, Android 11 device, why you maintain a fatal error, which means this guide is now complete. So there was a quick step-by-step -step detailed guide of how to install Corvus OS on your Poco X3 Pro. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.